Hey folks, this is Lex here from Word at Work, and today we're taking a look at the ThinkPad 10 from Lenovo. Now, this is pretty much that post-PC era hybrid mobile device type of a product from Lenovo. And this is running full Windows 8. It's very similar in concept to the Surface line, but without the Pro involved. This is full Windows 8. This isn't anything involved with RT at all. So with that said, we're going to take a look at the overall device, the speed. Uh, the, the price point, the compact design, everything that Lenovo has packed inside of this device to make it stand out from the crowd, as well as with accessories that enhance the experience with this device. So with that said, we're going to get right into it with the ThinkPad 10. <laughs> Taking a look around the hardware of the device, you can see it's a rather compact and sleek design. That 10.1 inch 1920 by 1200 touchscreen display is a beauty. It is 10 points, so there's no issues with sensitivity whatsoever. You do have that coveted Windows key at the bottom there. As you can see there, you do have the prongs, which are very similar to the Surface RT line and the Pro line, uh, but they do act a little bit different. On the side there, you do have uh, pretty much a flat for your ports there. You do have the, the micro SD card slot and the regular size one. You also do have a mini uh, HDMI port as well. You do have the volume keys and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the side there. Now that flap doesn't cause any issues. Uh, I really like how it uh, gets in there really nice and tight so there's no issue. At the top there you do have a power button and auto lock feature where I didn't actually find myself using it too much because using it in, in a portrait or landscape, uh, landscape is the, the better. Uh, portrait is kind of weird because of the edges that where they're made but overall it's a pretty good experience. And on the side there, you do have the actual charging port for the Lenovo uh, ThinkPad 10 and also a USB port, which is always a welcome addition because this is running full Windows 8. This is an RT, and it's running full Windows 8 on that beautiful uh, Intel Atom Z3795 quad-core processor. So that's great. Now on the back there, you do have with something to look like metal, but it's actually a fine plastic, but it is very durable. You do have the ThinkPad logo, which is very uh, iconic for them. And on the side there, you do have their 8 megapixel camera with a single LED flash. The camera is actually quite decent, and with that display, pictures do come out good. But again, you surely shouldn't be taking pictures with with this camera. On the side there, you do have that Intel processor, as I mentioned before. And you do have dual speakers, but they're facing on the back now. We've seen a trend with the Pro 3 and HCC devices of speakers pointing to the front, so I do wish uh, that they were uh, facing front as sounds do kind of get muffled because it is facing uh, the back now as I turn on the display that is my dog Carmelo there uh, it's very beautiful display uh, wallpapers pictures come out excellent and the sensitivity works out fine now as I actually take away from the screen and put in my password using that touch keyboard is also a good experience 10.1 seems to be a really decent size even though the Pro 3 is coming out uh, at 12 inches uh, but using it as you can see there this is full Windows 8 it's very smooth actually had no hiccups and a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad actually gives you a warning when the memory is being used uh, extensively which only happens when you're doing uh, constant editing of uh uh, photos or video uh, using high class studio production uh, programs or if you're watching a lot of video or movies as you can see there I do have Chrome I do have a couple of Lenovo uh, branded that is a lot of bloatware on this device that it comes with uh, but it is optional you can uninstall it just like Windows 8 uh, Windows Phone uh, devices so that's not a problem as you can see there I am exemplifying the speed of the device and there is no issues whatsoever this thing is a very pleasant experience and because of how compact it is you really wouldn't expect it to have all this power I mean that Intel processor gets the job done with no problems whatsoever as you see I'm snapping the programs together everything runs as it would on a stock Windows 8.1 device this is running the latest firmware so um, it is able to to update to that and it does come with a digital pen and I actually didn't use this because I'm using the pen on the Pro 3 is a much more enjoyable experience but for things like OneNote and things like that uh, it does actually provide a pleasant experience as well but it's optional it's really not a main feature set of the hardware as you can see there the viewing angles on the device are pretty damn good. I had no issue whatsoever. And outdoor visibility is awesome with the brightness as well. So all in all, this is a huge uh, package for what the ThinkPad 10 provides. Uh, I was really surprised about how fast and compact and sleek the design was. And as you can see with the camera there, using it uh, is simple uh, as any other camera there and you can see there the camera is okay it isn't the best but it definitely gets the job done for what you're looking for but all in all the hardware is definitely top notch on the ThinkPad 10 and it should be for that price. Lenovo had the sense to know that by itself as a standalone product that the ThinkPad 10 
uh, might need some accessories to enhance experience. It is a nice tablet on its own, but to be a full-on PC, you do need a keyboard and some other elements to kind of enhance that experience. So with that said, Lenovo has created a media docking station, as you can see here, and this thing is nothing but badass, guys. As you can see there, it's a very simple dock from the front. You just pretty much put it, place it at the top there. There are prongs inside the ThinkPad 10 that work with this connector, so there really isn't too much to learn there. But it has an assortment of ports to add to the experience there, as you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well, and also a USB port, uh, which is also awesome. And on the back there, you do have even more ports. Uh, you do have a docking station that which actually charges it, an internet cable if you don't have Wi-Fi access, HDMI, and two more USB ports. So all in all, uh, this docking station can be uh, used for TV or uh, any external source of a video output, as well as being a hub for your media. The holy grail accessory for the ThinkPad 10 is undoubtedly the keyboard. This keyboard is very different now. It is... It is a decent keyboard. It's almost something that would get on a generic stock uh, unit if you were to buy a separate Lenovo laptop. Uh, but it does have some really cool uh, elements to it to kind of enhance the experience with the ThinkPad 10. For instance, there is a holder for the actual digital pen that the ThinkPad does come with. So that's always convenient. Not really a make or breaker, but it is decent. So it's good to have that there. Uh, you also do have the ability uh, for a mouse pad and trackpad, which is also multi-touch. And it's rather uh, nice. I actually found myself using it quite frequently if I wasn't using the external mouse. Uh, I do find that using an external mouse is better, uh, but just in general, if you find yourself needing to use that, you won't have any hiccups. The chiclet keys on the keyboard are awesome. I uh, really enjoyed typing on this uh, keyboard. I don't know what it is, but you can see there, they're raised quite a bit. Uh, there is also prongs to hold the device in an almost booklet type way. As you'll see with the video footage uh, there, as you can see, that is the actual full laptop with it installed and Unfortunately, there is no way to angle it a different way, but for some reason, I guess Lenovo put research behind that actual angle of this keyboard. It works perfectly. I actually had no problem with viewing angles, putting it on my lap or on a table. The angle works well, but if you're familiar with Surface devices, you can't angle it. And that's it with the actual keyboard meshed together, so it's pretty cool as a cover and a keyboard. That is going to sum up our review of the Lenovo ThinkPad 10. Honestly, this is the best mobile computing device that I've used other than the Surface Pro 3. And there's a huge disparity in the price tag. For a Pro 3, it's 1000 plus if you want to get the full package. For the ThinkPad 10, it's 599 And with that added accessory element to it, uh, you have a full-blown PC. Now, I do recommend you get the keyboard and that dock to enhance the experience. But all in all, this is a great uh, computing device, and it runs flawlessly on that Intel processor. With that said, this is definitely a good buy. And be sure to like, share, favorite the video. Comment in the section below to continue to see great content from us. Subscribe and share the video if you haven't already. And remember to always enjoy your entertainment. Thanks, folks.